Hey guys, today we are going to learn about the parallel activity and more important is that to see if the activities within the parallel block is running in a parallel way or in a sequential way, right? That is the our main motto to show you how it is running in a parallel way or how it is exactly running we are going to show you. So first of all, let's drag and drop this activity and within the parallel activity, I am going to create certain sequences on which I am going to add few activities. So let's create our first sequence and within this sequence, I am going to add a right line activity. And in the right line activity, I am simply typing 1.0. Similar way, I am going to type 1.1, 1.2, 1.3. Okay, so these are the four values which, it's, which is there inside the sequence one. Similar way, let us design another sequence where I am writing 2.0, 2.1, 2.2 and 2.3. Similar way, I will add one more sequence. This is just a copy paste and changing the values. And here I am doing a 3.0, 3.1 and then 3.3 .3, and this is supposed to be 3.3, 3.2. Okay, so this is how our sequence is currently appearing. Now, if you run this activity, which are there inside the parallel block, if you see within the parallel block, right, all the three sequences are there. So when I say parallel, my imagination says, okay, the sequence one also will run, sequence two also will run, sequence three also will run, right? That is our understanding. And parallelly, all the activities within it should complete, isn't it? But when we run it, do we see that? So first of all, before we run this particular one and I am going to show you before that let us understand if you what is the meaning of parallel and what is the definition given by UiPath on this activity if you highlight the mouse pointer it tells you executes child activities in a asynchronous mode what is asynchronous and synchronous mode if you have learned Java you must be knowing synchronous means if this activity has to run first of all the first activity should complete then only it can move to the second activity once this activity is complete then only it can move to third activity that is called synchronous but here it is running in the asynchronous mode that means it does not depend which activity will start at what time any activity can start in a in a parallel uh, block if you have kept any activity any child activity can start anytime doesn't matter it will not follow the sequence right in a synchronous mode it always follows sequence because our parallel activity is a asynchronous mode it runs in a asynchronous mode that means it will not follow the sequence whichever is available it can pick it can run any activity in whichever mode it wants okay any child activity can run sequence one so it will first initialize all the sequences all are ready then it can pick any activity and start running okay it doesn't matter it will not follow the sequence so let's see that in practical right that is our main motto everybody understands this does that we need to see it now first of all to see this i will tell you do not run it in the uh, debug mode okay directly run it so let me run it and show you so let me go back now what happened 1.0 1.1 1.2 1.3 looks like it, it has printed everything in a sequential order but if you run it again run it again run it some two three times you would see it does not follow any sequence you will see the output might, might vary this time look at this time what happened 1.0 got printed 1.1 printed then it started 2.0 then 2.1 then it printed 1.3 do you see there is a difference here right uh, 2.1 then 1.3 then 1.2 it printed then 2.2 so there is a big difference here now when you compare the first one and the second one let me run it once again if you run it in the debug mode it will always go with the sequence that is to help the user to debug right so do not run in the debug mode to exactly see it in a practical way always do it a run okay make it a run and then go, let's go back now let's see this time how it is printing so this time 1.123 2. Dot, so it, it has printed in the 2.3 then 3.0 1.23 uh, where is 2.1 see look at this after 2.0 it printed 2.2 so where is 2.1 it printed here do you see so it does not run in a synchronous mode 
it runs always in a asynchronous mode that means it can pick any child activity and run so this example itself is good enough for you right so now the question is what is the practical use of it so the practical use for example just imagine uh, uh, there are couple of activities on you are running some parallelly some three four sequences okay let's imagine um, in in one of the sequence or uh, to perform the second activity it takes a little bit of time it takes let's say 5 seconds or 3 seconds right so i'll go to the property panel just to create that situation i'm entering okay imagine there is a open browser activity or some kind of activity um, which is taking a longer time compared to rest of the activity so what would happen let's say i'm manually creating the situation of giving it a Uh, two seconds of delay time so what would happen instead of your activity waiting if you run it in a sequence where it will wait let it complete then it will go to then then it will move the sequence to so instead of waiting for this it can start the other parallel activities right so that is the use so if you run it now you will see the difference see what happened after 1.1 it has printed here is a delay so it has left it started with 2.1 everything as 2.2 it has printed then 3.0 2.3 so it does not follow sequence okay it will just do whatever is available it will start working on it right and then at the end it did 1.2 1.3 so you must have understood the practical usage of it anywhere you find other activities can be started without waiting for it so that does not need to wait so in such a situation you'll go for a parallel activity wherein you know if you if i start this activity this activity does not depends on this one so wherever it is does not matter i should be able to start this one also this sequence also the sequence 3 also should start in those situations i should go for a parallel activity i hope with this example once you see this demonstration you must be happy now you must have understood that the how the parallel activity works in a asynchronous mode asynchronous mode is the keyword asynchronous means it does not wait for the previous activity to complete to start the next activity it can go in any order right it can go in any order for example 2.2 after 2.2 what it supposed to print 2.3 did not print 2.3 it printed 3.0 it started the third sequence and then at the end it printed 2.3 so it does not wait for anything it will do in any order okay so thank you so much guys for watching this and i'm pretty sure watching this example must have added a bit of knowledge to your knowledge bank thank you so much for connecting with expop channel let me tell you if you are a newbie to ui path uh, try to learn on our channel we have lot of videos more than 350 uh, videos that i have created and also i have created playlist as per the chapter you might have started let's say you are you uh, reading the ai computer vision or you are reading the enhanced sel selectors uh, right any kind of a use case you want data manipulation any kind of a chapter that you have started you have started let's say re framework so there are so many sample examples so many um, uh, use cases that we have used which will help you to gain the real practical knowledge so please do watch all our playlist thank you so much guys and we are going to meet in our next video take care bye bye